Hi friends, welcome back to the shop for another episode. If this is your first time here, I'm Dana, Art's behind the camera, and we're gonna walk you through some much needed maintenance on our 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. Just because it's a newer car doesn't mean that it doesn't need any maintenance whatsoever. And it's always important for you to read through your owner's manual to know the maintenance schedule and to know what should be replaced and when just in case your service tech doesn't recommend a needed maintenance element. In our case, we've got 26,000 miles on our Santa Fe and it still has the original air filters. What the hell did you just say? We've got 26,000 miles on our Santa Fe and it still has the original air filters. I got no excuses. excuses. Yeah, I got no excuses. They're a little gross, so it's absolutely overdue for replacement. We're going to walk you through how to replace both the engine air filter and the cabin air filter. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the uh, easy one, and that will be the engine air filter. So this is a Hyundai Genuine engine air filter that we did buy from our local dealership. The price on it was actually quite reasonable. It was $23 and some change. So don't think that all dealerships are out to get you. Just shop around for a little bit. As you can see, it's nice, it's white, it's a little fuzzy, and it comes in a plastic case. All right, to access the engine air filter, you're gonna go to the air box here, pull out this tab and lift it up to open and you'll see the end of the engine air filter right there. Looks just like this, except that uh, these tabs are in the lock position. You can't just pull it out immediately as it is. You have to unlock these tabs in order to pull out the engine air filter. Once you do, it'll come free really easy and then get a little stuck, so just wiggle its way out. As you can see, the original is quite dirty compared with the new one. You can also flip it over and see that it's even worse <laughs> on the bottom side. We got bugs and grass and a whole bunch of other crud in there. So that one's going to go away. And we're going to put our new one in. Installation super easy. You're just going to slide it all in. And don't forget to lock the tabs in place. Just close the cover, snaps in, and you're done. Next up, we're going to go ahead and replace the cabin air filter. Once again, we're going to use Hyundai OEM part that we bought from our local dealership. The cabin air filter ended up being about $36 and some change. So once again, just shop around, make sure you're not getting price gouged. This one is a little bit more involved, so let's dive in. Now, you may notice that I've got a mess on the floorboard here, and there's a very good reason for that. To access the cabin air filter, you're actually gonna be opening up the glove box. When you pull this out and pull this down, all of the contents would have ended up on the floorboard anyway, so save yourself some headache and go ahead and empty out your glove box while you're in here. Really good idea to go ahead and clean out any of the garbage, you know, old receipts, other stuff that doesn't need to be in there anyway. Inside the glove box, there will be a tab like this on both the left and right hand side. Just spin it and pull it right out. And do the same for the right side. Well, there we go. This allows the glove box to open up a little bit more, but it's still not enough. What you're gonna do is pull off this clip here, pull it towards you, be gentle, and it will allow the glove box to fall. Now we can access the cabin air filter. The cabin air filter is gonna be right behind this cover. To open it, just press down on these two tabs and pull it away from you. It actually has a little bit of a swing door action, but will also pop out so that you can fully access the air filter. From here, it looks pretty clean, but when you go to pull it out, you'll actually be able to see that it is not. 
That's supposed to be white. For comparison, our new and old air filters. Uh, Note that on your air filters, it's going to have a direction for the airflow in the shape of an arrow. On our new one, it's literally just an arrow. It doesn't specify that's the direction of airflow. So you want to make sure that you're installing your air filter in the correct direction for optimal filtration. Installation is just going to be the reverse. Slide in your new air filter. Put your cover back on. Yeah, put your cover back on. There we go. And clip it into place. Then you're just going to reinstall the glove box by first putting on your outer support bracket, then by putting in your internal spins, your internal clips. Ta-da! So for just a few minutes of time and what it was it right around fifty dollars of money you can actually improve your fuel economy on your new car by replacing those air filters we highly recommend that you inspect them every like ten thousand miles or so and really just follow your owner's manual and that's going to be it for us for today thank you so much for watching we hope this video helped you out take care stay safe we'll see you next time